Welcome to part 2 of my health bar tutorial. This part is going to be very short because we're only going to look at how we can scale our um, health bar with screen size and we're going to look at how we can lerp our health instead of just setting it to a set position. So first of all let's look at the let's look at the scale part. Uh, right now my pixel size inside my canvas, if I click on my canvas here, um, you'll see there's a canvas scaler and that UI scale mode is set to constant pixel size which means that whenever I switch my uh, resolution here um, the, the, the size of the health bar is not gonna gonna follow with it it's, it's gonna have the same screen size you know, same pixel size no matter what so you can see here if I scale it all the way down here you'll see that the health bar takes up all the screen and if I scale it up you'll see that it only takes up a corner of the screen so right now it works perfectly if I run it in scale with pixel size you'll see that the health can go all the way down to uh, 0 or 1 when I'm dead, almost dead and then I can get it back by going into the green uh, fog here but if I would change my canvas scale UI scale mode from constant pixel size into scale with screen size then you'll see that it, it changed the size here and whenever I scale down my screen you'll see that the health bar gets uh, smaller so that it will fit the different devices that you will um, tr um, export this game to or this health bar to but there is one problem if I scale with screen size and I reduce my health you'll see that it doesn't get all the way down when it goes to one health as you can see here I it looks like that I have almost half of my health left and I actually only have one health left left so we need to take the screen size into account when we calculate the position here so to do that we need to jump into our script and then our player script because it's in here that we need to do something as you can see here we have our max value and we have our minimum value so here we are taking the health transform that position x minus the health transform rect that width and the width is dependent on the screen size so we need to take the screen side into account when we calculate the width so to do that we actually just need to say health transform rect that width multiplied by canvas dot scale factor so the canvas dot scale factor is the scale factor of the canvas that our health transform is sitting on if you remember from the previous tutorial we made a canvas if I can find it here we made a canvas and this canvas is a reference to this canvas here that the health bar is sitting on and to do get the scale factor well we need to take canvas dot scale factor here so now we take our scale factor into account when we calculate the width of our health transform so if we save this and jump back into unity and play our game and as you can see we still have our scale with screen size on uh, before in the other tutorial as far as I remember I think we had a script that actually changed this to scale with screen size after we played our game um, but that's not um, the best way of doing it the way we're doing it now is, is way better so now we can actually start our game with scale with screen size on from the get-go as you can see here when I reduce my health you'll see that it actually takes the screen size into account so now when I reduce my health to 1 it's almost gone here and I can get my health back of course so that's how you scale with screen size the next thing I'd like to do is to make sure that our health can lerp back and forth and I want to say that the lerp makes the transition from the health you have now smooth, uh, have a smooth movement from the position it has now to the position where it, it has to go so let's say that we suddenly take a hit for 50% of our health well then the health bar is going to smoothly move all the way to the middle here instead of just starting its position at the middle so I'm going to show you how it looks like now when we just reduce our health suddenly in our game if we say we have an input here, input if input dot get key down key code dot space. So if I press my space bar, I would like to reduce my health. And then I can say um, health minus equals ten. So I reduce my health by ten when I press the space button. So if I just do it right like this right now you'll see that it, it reduces the health in chunks 
as you can see here, 90, 80, 70. And it, it just goes all the way down to that position where it has to go. Instead of this, we can actually add some lerp to it so that it looks smoother and looks better. So if we go into our script again, then we need to find the place in our code where we actually move our health bar around so it looks like we are losing health. And we are doing that in the handle health bar function. And the line we are doing it on is this one right here where we says, say health transform the position equals new vector free current x value cast y. So here we are just setting the position right away to where we want it. So that's why we get those jumps from 100 health to 90 health, for example, without a smooth transition. So to fix this, we need to say vector free dot lerp, and we need to give it the position we need to lerp from. And the position that we need to lerp from is actually the position it's on at the moment. So the position it has at the moment where we need to move from, well, that's the health transform dot position because we need to move from the position we already have and the position we need to move to well that's our new position we have here new vector free current L uh, x value cast y so we need to move towards the new position here and we need to give it a factor of how much we need to move and usually you can always just use the time dot delta time because when you use time dot delta time well then it's going to be frame rate independent and it's going to move the same uh, with the same rate on all devices for example so that's a good way of doing this so now we have actually changed our function from using the position and setting it right away on um, uh, changed it to um, lerping from position to position instead but we have to call handle health bar a little differently uh, because up here in our property if I can find it we have health and it just sets handle health bar here and the thing is, we, we don't need to do this anymore like this because we want to handle our health bar constantly because we need to check up on where we need to lerp towards instead of we only do this every single time we press the key. Um, I can show you right now. It doesn't work if I run it right now because if I press s uh, space, my health is reduced, but the health bar is basically not moving because it doesn't call this function in update so it gets time to move the health bar downwards. So to fix this, we need to remove handle health bar from here, basically. And then we need to go to our update. And then we need to paste it down here. So we call handle health bar inside our update. So we, at all times, make sure that we update our health bar's position. So if we save this now and play our game, you'll see that whenever I reduce my health, it loops from position to position. So you can see it gets this uh, smooth transition here all the time all the way down to 50 and all the way down to 10 for example so it looks way smoother than just um, changing the position right away so it gets these gaps here with the health that ends the part 2 of my health bar tutorial if you have any requests or suggestions then please post them in the comment section below or private message me if you haven't done it already then please support me by buying the project from the link in the description below if you already bought part 1 well then you don't need to buy part 2 just reuse your download link to download the files again and then this part will also be included. If you lost your download link, well then just send me a message with the email that you used when you bought the project in the first place, then I'll resend the download link to you. So thank you very much.